Welcome to the Fish Tank Season 2 Recap, Day 10. At 2.23 p.m., Cole is thinking of leaving the tank. I'm really like starting to lose my mind, not being, but not being able to look outside. Cole, you have a responsibility to keep these chumps poor. Win the grand prize and put it in your Roth IRA. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> that was funny. I just don't have any more, any more juice in me. At 2.21 p.m., Cole explains one scenario of him leaving that would make him really mad. If I left and then they brought back JC, I'd go ballistic. Because you know Brian's going to be all over that because he's a douchebag. At 2.45 p.m., Cole is starting to rethink his decision. He's conflicted. Cole, what about Maximus Decimus Meridius? Did he give up? <laughs> be like Noble Six, be like Maximus, they would stay. <laughs> that, that's right. That, that is Okay, fuck, fuck it. I'm staying. Fuck. <laughs> At 2.52 p.m., Jet brings Cole an Xbox 360 with Halo 3. Finish the fight, Cole! At 3.03 p.m., Cole plays Halo 3 on normal difficulty. Foreshadowing much? At 3.18 p.m., Goldstriker and Cole enjoy a match of Slayer. Oh, oh, oh. I'm screen peeping you, boy! You know I'm watching you on that television! At 3.36 p.m., Shinji swaps out with Goldstriker to play Halo. At 3.41 p.m., the fish are all envious of Cole and Shinji getting to play Halo, despite none of them asking if they can join like Shinji did. At 3.42 p.m., Goldstriker returns to get Shinji and Cole ready for karate with Sifu Scott. He asks if they want to do stand-up karate or ground game karate. They choose stand-up karate. Do you know any martial arts? Yeah, uh, karate, but Aikido. Bring uh, one of the you know, Xboxes and, and give it to the brokies. And, uh, Kendo. Kendo? And I did just kickboxing a little bit. You did kickboxing? Yeah, a little bit. Uh-huh. <clears throat> you guys want to learn Jiu-Jitsu? Actually, I, my Aikido was kind of Aiki Jiu-Jitsu. It's mixed Aikido and Jiu-Jitsu stuff, so uh -huh. I did. Yeah, but uh, is it totally fake and doesn't work? It, it works. Could you beat Jimmy? <laughs> no. Why not? Because, I don't know, like, <laughs> we, don't, we just don't fight. Yeah, but if you fought, could you beat Jimmy? <laughs> Maybe I can. <laughs> well, you would know if the shit you do works. Yeah. And Aikido is kind of self guard, like, like guard. Stuff. Aikido, Aikido doesn't. It is fake. That's a, fake? Yeah. It's, it's fake, Shinji. Yeah. Okay. It's fake. I promise. At 3:52 p.m., Brian enters B2 and tells Cole why everyone is mad at Cole, and of course, it has absolutely nothing to do with all of them being poor. What kind of games are you uh, Halo 3. Oh. Not bad. <laughs> Something. Two Xbox? Good God, man. That's a good start to the day, huh? Yep. Well, without saying, obviously, everyone's passed. <laughs> really? Why? What the? <laughs> Various things like favoritism. Cole, fuck them. Don't let anyone touch your Xbox. Cole or their ass is grass. But yeah, no, everyone thinks it's like favoritism, so. Oh, really? Yeah, everyone's getting pissed. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> But I mean, naturally, that's kind of the point, I would assume. Right, right. At 4 p.m., only Shinji and Cole are allowed to do karate today. At 4.08 p.m., Jimmy tells Jet that he has diarrhea. Uh, if you want to keep an eye out, uh, things aren't going too well in the bathroom, but... Oh, uh, you just have diarrhea? It's a bit more than that, where it's like, you know, like, you have it, and then, like, the energy just gets immediately sucked yeah, out yeah. of you. Yeah. Dude, you, everyone's allowed to... This is real life. We can get sick. It's fine. I doubt it's contagious. It is probably something I just ate because otherwise I feel like just a lot more pain. Let's just not. Do. Let's just not have any. Let's just not touch like touch or have any physical contact with any of your yeah feces. Well, yeah, the, I, I'm not. I'm not into yeah. that. So well, I'm, not, well, I'm saying it's towards to them. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because you're already sick. I mean, you can you can do whatever you want in the bathroom. <laughs> Ew. Just make sure it's clean off. Yeah. I'm sorry. Just I mean, no, it's real life, man. I'm just talking medical here. At 4.21 p.m., Jet brings TJ into bedroom 2 and asks him if he and Cole are the only people who know that CK is an actress. TJ says he didn't know that she was an actress. But is she an actress? I don't know what's real anymore. Based on clips that I've seen, I think you're pretty clued into this. The only other person that has said they know it's about CK, the girl in there. Just be honest with me, because obviously we have people walking, production isn't perfect. We don't want all of our plans as production to be revealed to everyone in the house. Anyone other than you and Cole know that CK is an actress? It's just you and him. Uh, I didn't even know. You should, what, 
about the, I saw a clip of you, the whispering, when you whispered to Bolt. It wasn't about that. At 4.36 p.m., Jed has come to make sure Jimmy gets better. Jed gets Jimmy to admit that Jimmy finds CK attractive, but Jimmy isn't a homewrecker. At 4.47 p.m., Jack conducts a challenge of who can make the best healing potion for Jimmy's diarrhea. Trish's remedy of orange tea mixed with ginger ale is declared the winner. At 5.13 p.m., Tay is forced by Ben to check out Goldstriker's muscles. Goldstriker nearly passes out. Yeah. Oh, look like a, um... Make her look at it, Ben. Check it out. What's that, Tilly, uh, Tilly. Look at it. What's that, like a minotaur? Make her look at it, Ben. Tilly. I'm looking. Are you looking? I'm looking. Well, you gotta inspect it. I'm, I'm inspecting it. Well, inspect the, the... Yeah, check that out. Cool, huh? Yeah, that's crazy. Well, what do you think about it? That's, Be honest. That's, that's cool. Well, look there, too. Yeah. That's crazy. How about that? Check it, check it, check it. That's crazy. He's pretty big, bro. Yeah. You could probably bust a hole in the wall or something. Yeah. Check it out. Look. Oh, look, shit. Look, look. oh shit. Oh god. <laughs> Breathe. Breathe. Here, you want this? At 5:50 p.m., Jimmy talks to Gold Striker about weed. Is just a herb man. Is a plant. At 6 p.m., Jimmy and Cole start sparring despite Jimmy having gut-wrenching diarrhea all day. Jimmy makes wild wide swings like a Dark Souls boss, and Cole hurts his hand. Right here. Fuck. Ah. Oopsie. That's okay. We're gonna keep fighting with the left hand. If you hurt your hand, why would you punch the wall with that hand? At 6.06 p.m., Jimmy and Scott spar, and Jimmy really shows off his supposed 12 years of MMA training. Yeah. You almost killed him, Jimmy. You did. You were, you were very close. If you hit me in the ass one more time, I would have died. At 6.11 p.m., Scott and Brian start sparring. At 6.20 p.m., Jimmy and Brian start sparring. Brian punches Jimmy in the jewels. Ouchies! At 6.24 p.m., Gold Striker confronts Cole for talking about season one. Hey, how you doing, man? Hey. Are you talking about season one? Um, yeah. Stop. Do you need further instruction? I'll stop. I'll let myself out if that's okay with you. At 6.30 p.m., Cole is forced to leave the tank with no explanation. Just what is going on here? At 6.39 p.m., Shinji has the Xbox set up in the lounge. Gamers unite! At 6.47 p.m., the camera in the attic comes on. What does that symbol mean? Where's Detective Cole when you need him? At 7.15 p.m., Ben makes the fish destroy the Xbox. At 7.25 p.m., TJ tries to talk to Goldstriker about CK supposedly being an actor. Goldstriker says a series of words that all together form sentences. It feels like, I don't know, it feels like you guys are punking me, but you're also not. Punking you in what way? Chet brought me upstairs. He, he said to me, like, uh, hey, just making sure you know this, but like, uh, you know, uh, CK's an actress, right? Oh. And I was like, no, I didn't know that. He's like, but I thought, so I heard, saw you and Cole freaking, whispering about it. Uh -huh. And I was like, no. So they looked upset and left. Uh -huh. But at least for today, I didn't really even talk to Cole at any point. And uh, I don't know when we'd whisper. And uh, I don't know, Jet was probably uh, acting when he was acting all upset. He was. He was? Yeah. Uh -huh. But. At the same time, I think maybe that was the truth, and he just wanted me to know that because Ryan's biggest ally mm -hmm. 
then uh, I only put that there to sow seeds of destruction. Mm -hmm. You did? Yeah, but I don't know, just don't know if it's true or not, I guess. Because mm -hmm. if Kate sees an actress, that would probably mean Brian's an actor. She is. She is? Mm -hmm. Like, for real? Mm -hmm. You're not lying to me? No. Okay, so that would mean Brian is also probably an actor? No, Brian's not an actor. His girlfriend's an actor. That's his actual girlfriend, though. Okay, so she's she's not told to act a certain way? She was told to come in and have a big bitch fit blowout fake breakup thing. Brian isn't in on it? Brian's in on it. We didn't have him. We didn't... You know, we told him, obviously, that she's doing a fake breakup with him. We're not going like, to torture the guy making him think his girlfriend's actually breaking up with him. That's fucking retarded. That's fucked up. <clears throat> Brian is like a... He's not like a plan or anything like that? He's not a plan, no. But he's not your friend. Do you think he's your friend? Are you trying to figure out if he's your friend? I guess. He's not your friend. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So besides all, all of that stuff that happened in the past few days, it was, it's, a, it's all real in a way? No. Like what? Uh, I mean, I'm not going to tell you specifically what, but it's definitely not all real. Okay. Yeah. All right. Do you want to know the good news? Sure. The good news is the people that are like paid to act are not eligible for the actual prize. So you're not actually competing with six, five or six other people right now. You're competing with a smaller number than that. This is true? Yeah. Okay. The people, the people who are acting are getting paid a flat rate. So Brian isn't an actual contestant? Brian is an actual contestant. Brian's an actual contestant, but we, we told him that his girlfriend, who's an actress, would be coming in and fake breaking up with him. But he is an actual contestant, yeah. Brian's not a plant, he's not an actor, he's eligible. You do have to beat him to get the prize money at some point. Okay. Okay? So CK, is, CK is not. You do not have to beat CK. So there's more actors? Mm -hmm. And we're about to bring another one in. Am I the only one that knows this? That has uh, been told this by... CK knows that she's an actress. The other actors know they're actors, but they don't know who the other actors are. And you might not want to blab about it because it might give you an advantage at some point. But you're allowed to blab about it if you want to. I don't care. Okay. So Brian's... Brian Julie is not... Brian actor. is a real contestant. He's in it for the prize. He's also not your friend. He's kind of... He's... I'm not going to... Whatever. I'm not going to say about anything about his character. I'll tell you not to get your hopes up about a, a pact with him where you're like brothers or something. That's not real. Okay. Okay. And at some point he's gonna try to use CK. He's gonna try his, but he's trying to get people kicked off. He, were you around when he and Jimmy were talking about getting Cole kicked off? No, 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 not that morning. I believe okay. that you're talking. That's about. the type of that's the, that's what Brian is on right now. I've I've known to say you're not here to make friends. I'll be I'll, if you may, if you do a good job, I will personally be your friend. Okay. That's not a lie. All right. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't trust Brian, man. I wouldn't trust him farther than I can throw him, and that's pretty far. Brian has the mouth of a rat. He has a, like, it's not a fake smile, but he just smiles for no reason. There's a thing, um, duper's delight. When you are fucking with somebody, it, you, and you're, get, you're like getting a lie over on somebody, like you're, you're tricking someone, you can't help but smile a little bit, and he does that. He'll smile for no reason, for no reason. He'll just have this like, smarmy rat rat smile. Jack Nicholson is the Joker, and that's Duper's delight. That's because he's, like, tricking someone in his opinion. At 8.22 p.m., Gold Striker chats with the fish at the bar. Season 3 should just be the only people with alligator eyes. <laughs> <laughs> that could just be the ad for it. Just, like, Everyone just some beady, some beady head of Do you look like this? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> All right. <laughs> beady heads and fucking eyes. Marvel hey. Real fucking freak show. They're all, they're all just stealing from each other the second they get there. At 8.56 p.m., the fish are tasked with making cardboard forts. At 9.43 p.m., a new freeloader is introduced. It's Chip from season one. He's told to decide who has the best cardboard fort. The winner is Jimmy because his fort can fit a chair and has a chimney for smoking. At 9.57 p.m., Gold Striker announces that a new freeloader is arriving. Her name is Nifty. He informs them that she is coming there to stir up drama and cause trouble. He also discloses that there are actors among the fish who are ineligible to win the grand prize. He indicates that there could be one or two of them, leaving it to the group to figure out who they are. At 12.09 a.m., TJ confronts Taylee to see if she's an actor. I think fucking theater kids are gay. At 12.35 a.m., Jet tells the fish about the Initiate Beef Fish toy with the first face-off between CK and Brian. Whoever loses has to spend the night in the doghouse. 
At 12.51 a.m., before their duel starts, CK and Brian have another heated conversation with each other. Brian, you've already gone off even before this. Yeah, I know. But guess what? We weren't fucking dating. Even when we were fucking dating. You act like I forget everything. I don't think you forget everything, but like, holy shit, Caroline. Sometimes you just need to focus on your fucking self. I told you to do that for years. As did I. Yeah. And that's what I'm trying to do. And then you came here and fucked it up. Brian, I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't care about your sorries right now because you're not fucking listening to me. And then you keep getting me into bullshit because you're not fucking listening to me. If you don't, like, if you, if you, if the next time you don't fucking listen, I'm never talking to you again. And I actually mean that. I will ignore you so fucking hard in here because you are fucking up my shit. Like, you think yeah. they brought you here to help me, you fucking idiot? He's right, guys. I'm overreacting. I'm just being a crazy woman. I can admit it. Sorry, Brian. I don't care about your sorries right now because you don't fucking listen to me, so fuck your sorries. Uh, right now, like, I mean, Caroline, you think I came on the show for you? No, you came on to it for yourself. Just like everybody fucking else. At 12.52 a.m., the duel starts with the challenge to kiss another fish. Brian asks Trish if he can kiss her, but before he can, CK kisses Shinji and wins the duel. Brian has to stay in the doghouse. At 1.21 a.m., Brian shares his frustration with CK, making her start crying. Caroline, you, if, you if you saw the first season, why would you think it would be anything good? It is a torture game show. And you thought it would be the venue to fix your fucked up relationship? You know, you literally just too blinded by emotions to be like, hey, maybe the, maybe the guy that I've known for seven years who's been here longer than me who signed up for You're this. You're the only one I fucking cares about. Yeah, no I shit. I know that. I'm sorry. Well, it's just like... like and, and I know I... Well, okay, like, it, the thing I just cannot understand is how after yesterday, you just weren't like, I'm just gonna shut the fuck up. At 4.46 a.m., Brian discusses with Trish how it is difficult to have fallen out of love with CK, but to still care about her and to have to deal with it on a reality show. It's just, it's like, I've been over it for a minute, and, like, it's tough when, you know, you fall out of love with someone romantically, but, like, you still care about them deeply as a person. Like, that's just a really a tough dynamic to deal with, and it's an even tougher dynamic to deal with when it's done on a show like this. And that's it! Check out fishtank.live to tune in live, and subscribe to their official fishtankx.com homepage and YouTube channel to make sure you don't miss a moment. Love